Hey, what's up everyone? Monado Max here. Back with another upload. Here with a special announcement. Tuesday, mark it on your calendars. Every Tuesday is Monado Max Tuesday. There's going to be an upload every Tuesday. You know how Sunday is football night? Tuesday is Monado Max night. Mark it on your calendar. But today's video is going to be about the Game Awards. This morning, they just announced the nominations. And I thought what would be a good idea if I share what I'm voting for. And yeah, um, I would like to know what you guys are voting for as Game of the Year. Um, let me know in the comments down below. It would be really interesting. Um, I'm really excited for the Game Awards. It's a show I've always really appreciated every year. Um, it's the thing I, I look forward to the most when it comes to the gaming. I, I like it more than E3. Um, I mean, you get like announcements. You get the... It's like the Oscars for the video games, you know, and I think that's awesome. So, let's start off the video. Alright. Best VR game. Oh, pff. I'm so sorry. I put it on the wrong screen. Alright, here we go. Best VR game. Alright, so out of all this, I've only played Beat Saber and Trover Saves the Universe. I've been meaning to play Blood and Truth on the uh, PlayStation VR. I hear that's a really fun game. And I hear No Man's Sky, it's new update with uh, VR and everything is just brilliant. So, with that in mind, I love Beat Saber, but I think I'm gonna have to go with the Trover Saves the Universe. The reason why this game it's hilarious. Justin Rowland made it. The people over uh, the voice of Rick and Morty. Um, dude is hilarious. This is just in general an awesome IP. I would love to see this be used more. If uh, if you have a PlayStation VR and haven't played this game, it's you don't even have to have a VR headset to play this game. It is one of the funniest games I've ever played. I, I still haven't finished it, but it's awesome. Next category. Uh oh. Okay, I guess you do it like this. Okay, strategy game. Um, all right. I think I'm gonna be, be honest. The only one I've played out of this is Fire Emblem Three Houses. So I'm just gonna go with. In general, I think even if I did play all these, I would have said Fire Emblem Three Houses. I'm, I'm really liking Fire Emblem Three Houses. So, yeah, that's all I have to say. It's, it's a great game. There's so much great about Fire Emblem Three Houses. Um. It's my second Fire Emblem game, so I don't know if how people feel about it. I don't know if I'm... Yeah. Sports racing. The best sports racing game. Um, out of all this, I'm going to have to say Crash Team Racing. I I know some people didn't like it, but I thought it was a good game. I really enjoyed playing it on my PlayStation. Um, yeah. That, that's all I have to say about that. Uh, score and music. I'll be in, Who is nominated for this? Cadence of Hyrule. Well, wow. Death Stranding, Devil May Cry, Kingdom Hearts 3. Um, I'm going to keep it real. I've only heard music from Cadence of Hyrule and Death Stranding. And from what I've heard from Death Stranding, I'm not freaking out over it. So um, I'm going to go with Cadence of Hyrule. I'm sorry. I'm just... Uh, uh, role playing game now. All right. Um, this is where I'll be honest. I haven't played a single one of these games, but this is my prediction. Who I think is going to win? I think the Outer Worlds will win this category, so I'm going to vote for that. Um, I was going to get Outer Worlds, but then it was announced for the Switch, so I canceled my PlayStation 4 pre-order, and I'm waiting for the Switch version, which is supposed to come out next year. So, performance, all right. Oh, wow. Uh, Laurie, uh, Laura Bailey is nominated. Okay, who else is nominated? Oh, Norman Reedus. Uh, all right. I'm going to have to go with Norman Reedus. I think I, I'm very happy that uh, Lori Bailey was nominated. She's done so many games, and I think her performance is awesome in all of them. But um, Norman Reedus, this was his first game that he's done, 
I think, other than uh, the Silent Hills game that got canceled. I think this was just an amazing performance from Norman Reedus in the Death Stranding game. I might be biased too because I love Walking Dead, but I feel like for him to be this first video game and the star of it, I thought he did amazing. So, yeah, I'm, that's just my opinion. Again, I would love to see what you guys think about all these games. Best ongoing game. Okay. We can make fun of it all we want, but we gotta give it hands on to the uh, people over at Epic Games with Fortnite. We can we can make fun of people playing it. We can cringe about it, like, but we gotta hand it to them. They've made it an addicting game with a game that still has a fan base that I believe came out late 2017. The fact that it still has these many players playing it. We gotta give our hats off to that. That's pretty impressive, I think, in my opinion. So I'm I'm gonna vote Fortnite on this one. I'm sorry. I know. It's crazy. Uh narrative game. Alright. Um Out of all this, it was only Death Stranding I've played. Did I play control? No, I didn't play control. So I'm gonna have to go uh Death Stranding. I mean this game. I haven't beat it yet, but it has such a interesting story that I don't think the entire trailers, everyone was questioning what the trailers was. And I think Death Stranding earns this as that title. Um, I know I got nominated for Game of the Year, too, I think. Uh, multiplayer game. Um, Okay, out of all this, I've only played Tetris 99, so I guess the best thing is to vote for that. But what I think is going to win is Call of Duty Modern Warfare. That's my guess. But I'm going with Tetris on this. Uh, mobile game. Alright. I'm not big on the mobile games. I'm... I I don't know. Should I I shouldn't vote in this category. I'm I'm gonna completely skip this category mainly because I haven't played any of these games. So sorry. Um, independent game. Uh, I'm gonna go with uh, Entitled Goose Game on this. I don't think I need to explain why that game is just awesome. Um, games for impact. Okay. Mm. I think I'm going to go with uh, Life is Strange 2. I haven't played it, but I know so many people have been impacted by, oh, I think it's one of the DLC, free DLCs they added for that game. I've seen people cry over it. Um, I think Life is Strange 2 really deserves to get this award, in my opinion. Uh, game Direction. Um, hmm. Death Stranding. Hideo Kojima, it's epic. Yeah, uh, I, I'm glad that he uh, he's getting recognized for his game. That a, a new IP that just came out like two weeks ago. That that's amazing. Uh, game direction. Oh, we just did that. Um, fresh indie game presented by Subway. Oh wow. Okay. Um, is entitled Goose Game on here? Yeah, let's, let's give it over to Untitled Goose Game. I think they deserve freshest indie game of uh, this year. Fighting game. I th Smash Bros. Yeah, okay, Smash Bros. is nominated for that. I know people are wondering why Smash Bros. was nominated for this. Because um, the Game Awards was happening before this game came out. So any, I believe how it worked is any game that was... Out before the game or out after the game awards happened, they can still be nominated for the next game awards. And ah, Mortal Kombat 11, that was pretty fun this year. But I'm going with Smash Bros. Got to. Uh, it's the most played game I've played this year still. Um, family game. I wonder what's. Wow, it's only Nintendo stuff. Okay. Let's look at it this way. What do you get the most value out as a family game? Smash Bros. Ultimate plays is eight care or eight players. Yoshi is two, right? Am I correct about that? I hope I'm correct about that. Uh, Mario Maker's mm, it's two, I think. I know you can play four online. 
Luigi's Mansion, I think, is for Ring Fit Avenger. Venture, Venture. Um, I don't remember how many players you can play in that. I'm going to have to be honest. I think you get the best family value out of Smash Bros. Ultimate. Mainly because you can have eight players playing at once. And I, I feel like that's just a great family game. It, I mean, it can cause some evilness around the uh, best esports team. Um, I don't know anything about esports. I'm not going to vote in this category because I don't know anything about it. Esports player. Um, I know none of these guys either. Uh, is, uh, no, I'm sorry. I'm going to skip this one too. Esports host. Uh, I don't know any of these guys either. I'm sorry. Esports game of the year. Okay. I, I think I can vote on this. Um, I've seen esports for Overwatch, and I think watching some Overwatch esports is pretty interesting. So I'm going to go with Overwatch. So, yeah, if people disagree, hey, it's all right. I understand. Esports event, uh, Evo 2019. Uh, that's the best esports event. No, nothing can change that for me. Uh, I love watching Evo Smash Bros. tournaments. It's awesome. All right, esports esports coach. Do I know any of these guys? I know any none of these guys, so I'm gonna vote for no one on this. Content creator of the year. All right, do I know any? Uh, mm, I know Doctor Lupo. I've seen him when I was a Fortniteer. <laughs> yep, Monado Max was a Fortniteer at one point. But weren't we all? Uh, a courage, or is that how it's yeah, courage? Courage. I hope I don't know. I think he's funny. I've seen like Mr. Beast videos with him, and I think he's just in general a funny guy. So I'm gonna go with him. Um, community support. What is that for? Recognizes a game for outstanding community support. Okay, yeah, Fortnite. This is something else. Um, they keep adding so much, or like I feel like they listen to the fans when it comes to like balancing like updates, guns, all that, and they continue putting out so much stuff. For free, I'm sorry. Fortnite wins this on that one. Audio design, recognizing the best in-game and sound design. Okay, I'm gonna be completely honest. I don't pay attention to audio this depth and in, de in, in, in detail. But out of all this, I've only played Death Stranding and Resident Evil 2, so I'm gonna go with Death Stranding again. I'm sorry. Uh, art direction. Um, best art direction. I'm I'm gonna go with uh, the Legend of Zelda's Link Awakening. I love the I, I guess art direction would be the art style of the game, and I think Link's Awakening is pretty good with the art style. If I'm so misunderstood what this art direction category is, please let me know. Best action and adventure game. Um. I'm gonna go with Resident Evil 2 on this. I thought, yeah, I think I'm going with that. Action game, isn't that okay? Oh wow, Astral Chain got nominated for something. I haven't played that. But that's cool. Um, I know I don't usually vote for categories, but I want Astral Chain to win. I've heard so many great things. Um, I got it on my Christmas list. I hope I get to play that game. Uh, I've heard just so many great things about this game. Uh, game of the year. All right. I'm going to keep it real. I feel like in terms of games this year, we don't have anything that was just groundbreaking compared to last year. Last year, this was actually hard to vote what was the game of the year. We had Spider-Man. We had Red Dead Redemption. We had God of War. We had... What else did we have? Um... Uh... Detroit Become Human. We we had so many good games last year. And not saying like all these games aren't good. It's just compared to the quality of every game deserved to be on there. And I'm not saying no okay, that sounded wrong. Every game on this list deserves it. I'm just saying like every single game on there was super, super good. Um and with that in mind, I know I've been doing a lot of Death Stranding. But in terms of games that I keep playing from this year, last, last year I thought my game of the year was Spider-Man, and I still stand by that. 
I would have put Smash Bros. as number two. Um, but this year, still playing Smash Bros. for so long, like three times a week. I'm gonna have to vote for Smash Bros. Ultimate as my game of the year of this year, because in terms of content, Smash is it. It <laughs> Smash, Smash. Okay. Um, I feel like in terms, it just it smashes it. Um, it it's just a great game. So much replayable value with content still coming on, uh, like every other couple months new game modes new characters and more characters to come after the characters that we're about to get it's crazy i'm, I'm staying smash bros is my game of the year i put death stranding is second resident evil 2 or it's my third um but i think this is going to end the video i got some interesting videos coming out pretty soon um please leave us a like uh rating comment i really like le looking at the comments so I would prefer you give a comment instead of likes, to be honest, because I, I just love reading the comments. Um, if I should do this again next year, this was kind of a last minute idea, let me know. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.